So guys, Gboard or the Google keyboard, it's not just a keyboard. It's a very powerful productivity tool. It's one of the most versatile, feature-packed and useful apps that you can have on your Android smartphone. So let me tell you what you need to know about Gboard and if you don't have it installed or it's not set as the default, don't worry, I'll explain that towards the end of the video. Okay, firstly, it's the fastest way to type on a smartphone. You simply swipe your finger across letters of the word and the word is automatically created. And even in the odd case, it doesn't pick up your word, it will most likely be in the suggestions bar over here, which you can then just tap and be done. But if you're not in the mood to type, Gboard can input words even faster if you use voice typing. Look at this. Just tap on the microphone and say, Hey, comma, how's it going? Question mark. Thinking of picking up some beer. Full stop. Do you need me to pick up something for you? Question mark. And there you go, just like that, it converted everything I said into regular text that I can send. I mean, if you're not around people, I really cannot think of a faster and an easier way of typing messages or even long emails. Next, I can write out my entire address by using a shortcut. So just ADDR and my address shows up in the suggestion bar. Or let's say you want to share your bank account details with someone for someone to send money to you. Or let's say you want to quickly share your email address. All you have to do is configure a shortcut type it out and it shows up in the suggestion bar. I mean, these are really frustrating things to keep typing again and again, but the fact that you can assign a shortcut with Gboard, just super convenient. Now, to configure this, open your keyboard and then go into settings, then go into dictionary and then into personal dictionary and whichever dictionary you've got installed, tap on that and you'll see a plus icon on the top right corner. And then just write your entire word or message and give it a shortcut, in this case, ADDR for address. And that's it. And guys, before we move on, if you're finding any of this useful, it would mean a lot to me if you could show some support for the channel. And all you gotta do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. That's it. All right, now let's move on. Next, let's say you copy something from here and then you copied something else from here and then you copied this stuff. Now you'd think that you can only use the last copied stuff, right? Actually, no. So if you go back to your keyboard and tap on these three dots, you'll see something called as clipboard. And over there, everything that you've copied is right there. Just tap on it and it'll just paste wherever you want it to. Another very interesting thing, let's say you take a screenshot. That too is copied to your Gboard's clipboard. So next time you go ahead and type something, it'll give you the option to paste that image. And not only that, if you go into the clipboard, you'll be able to see those images as well. So it sort of manages everything that you've copied, including photos and text, which you can then just paste. Now, here's a peculiar problem. When you go into landscape mode, the keyboard takes up the entire height and that you can barely see the messages and what you type is what you see. But here's an option. Tap on the three dots, then click on floating and this pops up a floating keyboard which you can resize and you can move around and it's so much easier to type on this because you can also see the messages at the back. Now, once you're done with it, you can just drag it back down to the bottom edge of the screen and it just sticks back. Also, if you've got a large phone or small hands or you just want to type using one hand, you can do that. Just tap on the three dots, click on one-handed mode and that's it. Now you can type easily because the keyboard shrinks down. And if you want to switch hands, you can just move the keyboard to your side and you're done. Next, Gboard can and does look gorgeous on your phone. The color scheme adapts automatically to your phone's wallpaper and the theme if you're running Android 12. So it can take any color accent from your wallpaper and work in light or dark theme. And to set it up, go into Gboard settings, go into theme, and then you've got to choose dynamic color. That's the one for this. In fact, there are more color themes. So if you want like a light solid or a dark solid, you've got that option. You can choose from landscape backgrounds, though I would stray away from that. Then there are light gradients that you can apply if that's what you're into, or you can have dark gradients for, you know, if you like to keep your phone more in the dark theme. And you can choose to keep key borders or not. Next, you know how sometimes it can get difficult to get the cursor exactly between two words or between two letters? But on Gboard, you can just use the spacebar to easily get there. You just have to slide your finger left or right on the spacebar and that's it, you know, it gives you very good control over the cursor and you can leave it exactly where you want to. This next one is probably a more common one, but Gboard has an inbuilt translator tool. So right above the number seven, you'll see the translator tool where you can set the source language, that is the language you're gonna type in and the translated language. And then it makes that translation real time as you type. 
I mean, and it's impeccably accurate. And the sheer number of languages Gboard can translate in is amazing. Obviously, it's riding on all the years of experience of Google Translate, so you get the idea. And lastly, guys, did you know Gboard can type multilingual? So I'm writing in English right now, and simultaneously, I can continue typing Hindi words in English letters, and it recognizes it perfectly. It's actually called Hinglish. And you can find it if you go ahead and add another keyboard within Gboard. It's called Hinglish and you can see that multilingual typing is an option. And to add another keyboard, just go into settings, go into languages and just say add keyboard. And now you can search across so many languages that it's unimaginable. It's crazy the support that Gboard has for different languages. And yeah, you can add multiple of them. And another thing you should do is go into settings, text correction and enable suggest contacts. With that, when you speak out a contact name or if you, you know, glide over letters to form a name, Gboard will recognize it and print it on the screen. All right, now let me tell you how to install Gboard and how to set it as the default keyboard. So the simplest way is to go to Play Store, look for Gboard. If it's not installed, install it. And if it is, then just open it and on this screen, enable Gboard and then go back then tap on select input method and select Gboard. And that's it. Your Gboard is all set now. So yeah, Gboard is packed with these tools that makes it more than just a keyboard. And the fact that it relies on Google's data uh, and machine learning and voice learning that accurately predicts what it is that you're trying to say or type, which is what makes it the most accurate keyboard that I've ever seen on any Android smartphone. All right, that's it from me on Gboard. Now, if there are some features or tips and tricks that I haven't mentioned in this video, please comment them in the section and let others know. And if it's really good, I'll pin that as the top comment so everyone can benefit out of that. And thanks for watching, guys. If you found this useful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.